Oh, hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, today we're gonna to have a look at four crazy launch methods, including one that's actually quite dangerous. And then at the end, we've got a bonus launch method. So stay tuned to see what that is. You're probably familiar with the two main common forms of launching gliders, and that is the aero tow with the tow plane and the winch launch. Aero tow is one of the most common methods. Lots of clubs around the world offer aero tows. And this is just the process of being towed up by a plane. Once you reach your intended height, the glider releases itself from the tow rope and the tow plane goes back and lands with the rope attached to pick up the next guy. Winch launching is using a big V8 engine or something similar inside a fixed machine at one end of the runway. The glider goes at the other end with a big long cable attached between them and it basically winds in that cable nice and fast. The glider accelerates and ends up kiting up on a nice sharp angle. At the top, glider releases and can fly around, try and find a thermal and go somewhere else or just come back and land. We'll have a good look at winching in a future video. So if that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified about when that video comes out. All right, let's have a look at the first method, and that is a bungee launch. Now this is only done in one or two places around the world that I'm aware of. One such club is the Midland Gliding Club in England. Let's review how it works, shall we? First, you have to have a suitable site. It's ideally a nice gentle hill where you can uh, get the glider to the top of the hill reasonably easily. Ideally, you have updrafts going up the side of the hill creating ridge lift. That way, when the gliders launch, they can then ridge saw the hill and hopefully get away and fly somewhere else. As you can see in this clip, the glider is positioned at the top of the hill. There's two big long bungee cords that are simply held by people at the other end and they walk down the hill while the glider is being held and has the brake on. Once, there's, once they're far enough down the hill, there's enough pressure, the glider lets go of the brake and it is slingshot off the hill. So I'd love to give this a go one day. It's a nice safe method. They have plenty of space down underneath them to land if anything goes wrong. All right, crazy launch method number two. Now this is one I've only seen once on the internet, ever. But it's actually the simplest of all the possible launch methods, a gravity launch. So there's a site in Poland where you can simply push the glider off the hill, down this paved runway. As it's descending, it builds up speed. Once it gets to flying speed, it can lift off and start ridge soaring just like the bungee launch. This particular site you can see has got a huge massive long field so they can uh, land straight ahead if they need to, if anything goes wrong. And I bet they can ridge soar as well if uh, the wind's going the right direction and is strong enough. So another really interesting launch method. What's cool about this method, you don't need any ropes, equipment, people really, except a couple to help you push you off the top of the hill. And it means if we hit the inevitable zombie apocalypse, we can at least still go and do some gliding, even if the wheels run out of refined oil. Get your horse and cart, drag your glider up to the top of the hill. Okay, next up we got another crazy launch method. Now this is a bit more out there, again pretty uncommon. Uh, this particular clip is from New Zealand and the people who did this uh, manoeuvre had special permission to do it from our Civil Aviation uh, Authority. This is the helicopter launch. Now the way this works, the glider starts off on the ground, helicopter in front, tow rope attached. So from the glider's point of view, it's almost like normal. Helicopters can travel pretty fast. All it has to do is go faster than the stalling speed of the, the glider, so it actually starts flying which is about 48 knots in uh, most typical gliders. 50 knots, 55 knots, be flying no problem. And a helicopter can easily do that. At any point, 
the glider can release from the tow rope just like you would in an aero tow. So in this case the helicopter actually goes into, slows down, goes into a hover, letting the glider basically hang underneath the helicopter. And then when he's ready he can release, the glider drops, flips around and starts flying straight away. This is probably the most expensive way to launch a glider. Helicopters cost a fortune. All right, our fourth method is the most crazy and I would argue the most unsafe method of all the launch types. And that is a balloon launch. These guys in Russia with a Russia aircraft as well, type of aircraft, it's called a Russia. And they're in Russia. What they did is attach this glider using a special harness, lift it up into the air by hot air balloon. Once they got to a suitable altitude uh, they released the glider and away it went just like the helicopter drop from before. Now the problem with this is getting off the ground. I imagine it would take at least a couple of hundred meters, a few hundred feet, build up speed and start flying. Now the problem is, if you do that too close to the ground, you won't have time to recover before you start flying. So there's a period of time where if anything went wrong, the rope broke early and unexpectedly, under a certain altitude, there would be no chance of the glider recovering and it would crash into the ground. Now that to me is unacceptable. All our other launch methods, they have ways to abort the launch. You can stop at any point if anything goes wrong. This, there is no option. If it goes wrong within certain altitude, it would be a serious accident. So don't try that one at home. Okay, bonus number five, an auto launch. This is not quite so crazy, but is interesting nonetheless. This is actually one of our approved uh, methods of launching just like winching an aero tow. We have uh, ratings here in New Zealand for an aero tow launch. These are very similar to a winch launch except instead of using a stationary engine at the end of the airfield you use a vehicle like a car. In this video courtesy of uh, Lange Aviation they're doing some testing for winch launching so they can officially approve winch launching as a type of launch for their glider. They use a nice long tow rope, they use a nice powerful car and they use release mechanisms at both ends so the car can release and the glider can release of course from its normal release. Once you're in the air from an auto launch, if you've got an engine you can use that to get away and uh, go higher than you, than you could get off the auto launch itself. If you want to support the channel, check out our uh, online store. We've got some cool sweatshirts just like this one, t-shirts, mugs, cups. No we don't, we don't actually have mugs and cups. Stickers, drink bottles, go check it out and uh, we appreciate your support. If you want to check out the full videos of any of these launch methods I've got links in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, uh, well, do all the stuff you know what to do till next time catch you later